Last time on Murder in Your Ear. Melissa is discovered passed out in the bathroom, the same way her mother Rachel was found in 1970. Jessica's body is discovered by the Pac-Man, and Dean William Hardy sees an opportunity to rid CSU of its Greek system forever. Sharon reveals that she knows Wilson Gray, and that he may have been the reason for her transfer from Yale. Donna locks the girls into the clock tower to keep them safe for their pledged sleepover and to uphold the DAM traditions. She promises to return to unlock and allow Sharon to do her early morning training at the swimming pool. But when she and Captain Royce arrive, the door is unlocked and Melissa tells them Sharon is long gone. Meanwhile, at the swimming pool, Sharon meets her grisly end via a scythe. Who's next? Hello, Central Star, Muriel O'Leary. What? That's not funny. Stop that. Who is this? I said stop. Calm down, Muriel. This is just some prank. Some kid heard about the scarecrow and the murders, and this is all a coincidence. They can't know you were there. In that stupid sorority house. <gasps> oh, it is just a phone. Stop it. Look at you talking to yourself like some crazy bag lady. You're the top reporter at this newspaper. Now just be a grown-up and answer. Central Star, Muriel speaking. No. No, it isn't possible. What do you want? What do you want from me? Central State? Wait, are you there? Damn. What am I gonna do? What does a reporter do, Muriel? You're going to write the story. That's what you're going to do. Well, I guess I'm heading back to my good old alma mater. Murder you. Oh, Central State and DAM. For all your sakes... I pray this is a prank of some kind. Oh God, I hope it is. It stopped, right? That noise? It stopped. Oh, thank God. My nerves. I can't take this. Where are my tums? In your desk where you always keep them, William. Oh, there they are. What was that? Did you hear that? Shh. There it is again. The jangling sound. And the burning smell. Does that seem like it's getting stronger to you? Will you stop talking? Look, Wilson, look at the door. It's shaking. It, it's turning. Where did you go? Quick, come quickly. Here, through the window. Let's go. 
Wait, be quiet. Let's see who comes through the door. Here, get down. If I kneel on your back, I should be able to see. <clears throat> okay, stay still. I think I can see now. Well? The door is opening. Just a touch. I see a hand. Uh, it gets all dark and twisted looking. It has a really large, old-fashioned keys hanging Wait, from it. Wait, uh, so that scarecrow crap is for real? I can't believe it. Don't move, I'll fall. Oh crap, the hand. It froze. It's not moving. It's like, it's like, it hurt us. Don't be ridiculous, Wilson. Hands don't hear. It's gone. It disappeared. We've got to go. It knows, it knows we are out here. Someone's coming. Or something. Let's go. Run! Head toward the pack house. Please don't hurt us. We'll give you anything you want. Anything. Nicholas? Nicholas Cameron? What the hell are you doing out here? Man, the vibe here is so freaky. I can't even get a good buzz going. Same here. Hey, Wayne. Want to have a chugging contest? Uh, I am offended you even had to ask me that, Johnny. Waka, 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 waka. What? Hey, Moog. What's up? You always love a good drinking contest. He's still thinking how close he got to closing the deal with that fine honey heather. I mean, I did write a song for that cute chick Ginny, too. And now... I may not get to play it for her. Yeah, Lonnie, man. This sucks. You know, I am kind of bummed that Heather won't get to experience the full on Moog show yet. Oh. <laughs> okay. No, okay. no, 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 no. But, but for real, listen, I, 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 there's something I've been thinking about. What's up, Moog? What? Well, when was the last time any of you went up into the attic here? Um, like the other day. Psych! <laughs> <laughs> Catch me never going up there. Not again. Again? What you talking about again? Why are you being all spooky? The beer hitting you different tonight? Oh, no. Um, I know what he's talking about. Shut up, Mitch. What goes on at Pledge Ritual stays at Pledge Ritual. What are you guys talking about? Pledge Ritual? We don't have that. It used to be a thing, Johnny. Um, you just didn't have to do it. Only me and Wayne from our pledge class. Um, we were supposed to carry on the tradition with you younger guys, but you lucked out. We aren't creeps. Okay. It's story time. Uh, can, can, can I just tell you guys real quick what's bugging me? I mean, I think... Sure, Moog. In a sec. Chill, all right? Tell us after but, we've but heard the I story. I think it might help us... Moog, chill. chill. It's not really a story. Like, really. <laughs> Basically, Wayne and I were told we had to go up to the attic. They told us there were brothers and they wanted us to meet. So, we climbed all those creaking stairs all the way to the top of the house. We had two brothers behind us the whole way. We figured they were going to, like, lock us in there and pour liquor down our throat or something. I don't remember thinking that. Um, oh, well, I was hoping that's what it was. Would have been down with that, to be clear. Anyway, um, we got to the top and the pledge chair. Um, it was Jessica Jacobs' brother. Remember him? That guy. What a di- Exactly! Anyway, um, so Jacobs pulls out this giant set of keys and shakes them around a lot, which we didn't get at the time, but we do, we, we do now. And then he pushed open the door really slowly. And he, and he said, uh, this is where they are. Those brothers who want to meet you, um, with this weird grin on his face. And then they shoved us in the door, and all the lights went out. It was pitch black, and we heard whispers. Whispers? Of what? Names. Names of... But that wasn't all. 
lights, uh, lights started um, darting across the room. Long beams, like, uh, like flashlights. And the whispered names got louder and louder. I went closer to see what the lights were showing. They started spinning around, making loops and whatnot. Then it, then it looked, um, and I know this isn't possible, but it looked like the pictures were coming off the wall, um, so that only one could really be seen. Probably a trick of those lights, which was basically a full-on strobe show now. You guys are killing me. What was it? You can't guess? It was the composite picture of all the brothers from 1970. Except when I looked closer, I, I could see that all the names were written black, except for four that were highlighted, almost like a bold light or something. And they shone... Harry Connors. Daniel Stone. Shane Towers. And Stephen Calhoun. Which were the exact same names that we've been hearing whispered over and over and over. The names of the boys who were murdered in 1970. Wow. That's creepy. Dude, you bet it was. I like freaked out. I couldn't take it. I shoved my way out of that room and haven't been back since. Okay. Who wants a beer? That was a lot. Did you leave too, Mitch? After a little while, um, I looked around a bit first. Once they turned on the lights for me, I mean, um, Jacob showed me how they did their little light show. So if we ever want to put on our very own horror fest, um, we're all set. Whatever. Don't know how you could stand it. I don't ever want to go near that place again. I go up there all the time. I've never felt creeped out. Moog, man, why are you so weird? I'm not weird. My dad's photo is up there. It makes me feel close to him. But, but, but listen, can I tell you what I noticed? It's been bugging me since we met him. And, and, and I just can't. Throw me a beer, Wayne. All right, Moog, shoot. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, well, you guys know what it's like when you see someone and you're like, I know them, but then you don't know from where, so then you're just kind of shoved away like it was nothing. And then it just gnaws at the back of your mind, like more like, you know, like a teeny tiny worm. I won't stop annoying you. And then you just want to put it on the side. But, oh. All of us are stressed. Um, can you get to the point sometime this evening? Please. <gasps> you, you know what? Can I show you? It, it, it's up in the attic. Dude. No way. I'll just stay here and you guys can tell me all about it. I'm not going up there. Ever again. I meant what I said. Moog, is this like one of those things that is real important to you but we won't feel the same? Like when you got us all tickets to that Milli Vanilli cover band? They weren't a cover band. They were the real singers of Milli Vanilli. No, this is nothing like that. I promise. I think this is important. All right, I'm in. Wayne, you stay here and hold my beer. Come in, fellas. Sure. All right. I'll be here, waiting on you guys. Almost there. See the door? Uh, just a sec. Moo, have you always had keys to every part of this house? Oh, totally. They were my dad's. Never had the locks changed. Oh, okay. Uh, over here. Come here. Look at this. Is that the composite picture for 1970? Yep. Look, there's my dad, Jeffrey Mugen. What a stud, right? He needs it. Moog, please tell me that we didn't come all the way up to this creepy attic to look at your dad's sideburns. No, 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 no. Just look above him three spaces to the left. See that guy? Doesn't he look familiar? I'll be damned. But that's... Yeah, I knew I'd seen his face before. I mean, it's been bugging me this whole time. Different hair. Different name. But it's him. It's our faculty advisor. Although, they've got him listed here as Gray Wilson, but it's Wilson Gray. Ah! Ah! Oh God. What? (laughs) 
I'm sorry. I didn't mean to startle you. Well, you did. Why are you running around like a madman? Don't you know there's a murderer out here? This is serious. Not to mention it's past curfew by, well, a lot. A whole lot. I'm going to have to- Nicholas? What are you doing? My goodness, are you all just tangled up together? What are you doing? Why is your window open? I... Dean, let me help you up. Donna and I were just heading over to the gymnasium. That Yale girl is down there swimming. Or at least we hope she is. What do you mean, you hope? Well, I had said that I would unlock the door. I locked them all in, safe and sound. But then when we got there, the door was unlocked and the Yale Her girl... Her name she... is Sharon. Oh, of course, you would know that, wouldn't you? I forgot to ask. <gasps> what the hell was that now? Sounded like it came from over there. By the pack house. I'm gonna go check it out. I'm going with you. Wait, I can't go check on Sharon by myself? And what if there's an issue at pack that involves my girls? Oh, I don't know what to... I'll go to the gymnasium and check on Sharon. I'm sure she's fine, and I don't want you to waste a trip. Um, pack brother Nicholas, shouldn't you check on your brothers? Not some random girl? I'm sure the guys are fine. All right. Good. I'll go to pack with you all. Nicholas, thank you. Please escort Sharon back to the clock tower and then it. report to your house. I like that, kid. Wilson, where did you say you went to school? You remind me of someone I... Now is not the time, Officer Royce, for chit-chat. Excuse me, can you direct me to Dean William Hardy's office? I'm with the Central Star. Muriel? Donna? You're still here? Royce? You too? Muriel O'Leary. Wow. You haven't changed. Uh, you're still as pretty as that one night on the hayride when we... Well, I hate to interrupt this little reunion. I am Dean Hardy. What do you need? We are in a bit of a crisis at the moment. Yes, I figured you might be. I received a call, you see. A call? From whom? Well, that's the thing, Donna, my friend. It sounded like the Scarecrow himself. Was that screaming? Let's go. I'm ready. sleep. Oh, why can't I sleep? What if old Donna poisoned them all? Oh my god. I should wake them up. I'm going to. Oh my god, Johnny. Don't touch me. Uh, Melissa, what are you doing? Oh, thank god. I just got like super bugged that maybe old Donna had actually like poisoned you all with those sleep aids. What's going on? Who's been poisoned? Well, according to Melissa here, all of us. We've been poisoned, oh my god. No, Jenny, you're fine. You guys, please don't do that to me, I can't deal. Melissa, you all right? You look like... Strung out. Did you get any sleep at all? Sleeping just isn't my strong suit. Like, it never has been. My mom used to wake us up to do bed checks like in the middle of the night, every night. Doesn't every mom do that? <laughs> Jenny, I'm glad you're feeling better and have your sense of humor back, but... <laughs> oh, but I... Well, what time is it, anyways? <sighs> Where's Sharon? Remember, she swims. It's almost seven. Oh, no wonder I feel like someone ran over me with a truck. Twice. I don't ever get up this early. Me neither, girl. Melissa, just let us at least snooze for, like, 30 minutes, okay? Okay. Now I know you're all alive, I guess I can make that work. <laughs> I'll be right back. Have to go pee. Hmm, so, honey, any policies for kicking out the crazy pledges? She's mm, a little too much for me. Oh, but we can't blame her for that. People can't help it. You're just sweet, Jenny. Anyways, Heather, to answer your question, Melissa's a legacy. Not much we can ever do to get rid of them. 
Anyways, girls, who's with me for like 10 minutes or an hour of like snooze? I will do five snaps for that, honey. <sighs> You're all learning so much. Oh my God, I can't take anymore. What the hell is with this place? Shh, girls, I'll see who it is. Who's there? What do you want? It's me, Nicholas. Let me in. You have to let me in, the scarecrow. The fool. Sharon, he's gonna get us all. Let me in! Ouch. What was that? Why is it pitch black in here? Those stupid boys are probably up to no good again. I think it's the fuse box. I'll just go and check. Be right back. The dark pack house even smells like I remember from my sorority days. Like stale beer and popcorn. Like college. Is that really necessary the entire time, Muriel? This would make a great story. Wouldn't it be fascinating to pair this story with my journal that I kept religiously back in 1970? What journal? You never told me you kept a journal. Who's there? What do you want? Oh my god. We thought you guys were the- <laughs> Dean Hardy! Uh, uh, Mrs. Westwood? Hmm? Uh, oh, look guys. It's our faculty advisor, too. How about that? Why are you boys sneaking around in the dark? That's against the rules we've discussed, boys. We were up in the attic, looking at pictures. If you boys must look at those pornographic images, couldn't you at least do it with just low light and not shut off all the power? Um, gross? Why would we... Never mind. Where's Wayne? I haven't seen Wayne anywhere. We did find Mr. Cameron running around outside. Did he ever say what he was doing, Wilson? I think we got a little distracted, sir. Hey, I don't think we've met. I'm Johnny Bordian, president of PAC. Hi, I'm Muriel. Muriel O'Leary. I'm a reporter with the Star. She was also a sister of mine at DAM. Oh, nice. Guys, we have a problem. A major problem. Well, I guess you need to come in, Nicholas. Here, have a seat over at Jessica's sleeping bag. Ew, creepy. What? Just, um, uh, never mind. He does not look good. I'm fine. Don't talk about me like I can't hear you. I'm fine. Oh my god. Did he just faint? Do we still have water? I got it! Jenny, I don't think we need to throw water at him. Maybe just... What happened? Where am I? You're in the clock tower. You came in to tell us about the scarecrow. Oh my god. It was so, so awful. Have some more water. Thanks. Do you have anything stronger? I have some party favors. Just a second. Um, Pledge Heather. Party favors aren't allowed. And you're underage. <laughs> okay. Here you go, Nicholas. I got some vodka, little rum, some gin. Whoa, did you rob an airplane bar? I've never seen so many tiny bottles. I'll take some of everything. Let's start with the vodka. Alrighty then, let's take a break from the drinking, for a second anyway. Heather, I'll be talking to you more about that later. If we don't all get caught to death by a sight first. Oh, don't say that, please, please, I just can't take it. No, Heather's right. I don't know that we're going to survive. It's like, it's like we're being hunted. Well, that seems a little dramatic. 
Look, I just spent the last two hours being chased by something that smelled like burnt flesh and could move really fast. And I also found that smart, cute girl all cut up and wet and drowned. Sharon? Oh no. Oh my god. I think I have to throw up. Oh no. Well, don't just sit here. Get up. Go to the restroom. Okay. <clears throat> oh my god. Poor Sharon. I mean, she was a little uppity and could rub you the wrong way. So, she deserved to be cut apart by some burned up dead straw man? Whatever. That's not what I meant, Heather. Chill. I can't stand losing another DAM, sister. It's just too awful. Wait, Nicholas, where are the others? Mm, the others? Your brothers, the other boys, where are they? Oh, well, I had left them to go and see the Dean. To tell him who had killed Jessica, I mean. They were all making fun of me, so I figured I'd show them. Wait, what do you mean who had killed Jessica? How, how did you know? I would rather not say at this time. What the? Let's go, Heather. It'll just feed his behaviors more. Uh, Nicholas, j just tell your story. Thank you, honey. Well, as I was saying... Man, I can't wait to finish college and just be done with all this tedious undergraduate stuff. I wish the Greeks weren't so powerful. It's so lame. All their waka waka, and they think they're so smart. Especially Mitch. Oh, I'd love to wipe that snarky grin off his face. I'll show him up. What was that? <laughs> Nicholas, you need to calm down. You're just jumpy because your girlfriend was carved up like a Halloween pumpkin with a scythe just hours ago. Wait. No. I heard that. Oh my god! Wait, so he's close enough to whisper in your ear, but he didn't kill you? Well, I'm sure he would have killed me. But I, well, as you know, have been the captain of both the cross-country team and track teams and at one of the best times in the state. Wow, so cool. Hmm. But the point that Honey made is valid. You were right next to him. He whispered in your ear. He could have just... <laughs> right then and there. Maybe he only likes girls. He killed boys the last time. But that was the janitor. This is... Look! I don't know what you believe, but that thing, that thing smelled like burnt, rotting flesh. Its voice didn't even sound human. And if you could have seen what it did to Sharon, it made Jessica look like a warm up act. You think it's the ghost of the janitor? Like some supernatural revenge? I know. I know it sounds crazy. Wait, 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 wait. Did you go see the Dean? What did he say? Where did you find Sharon? In his office? How was she drowned? Well, as I said, I'm a pretty fast runner. Breathe in, breathe out. Imagine you're on the last 400 meters in the 1500 and have to put sprint on to outkick the next guy. You've done it a thousand times. There you go. Just keep breathing in and out. In and out. Ah, that was probably my fastest time ever. I should use that as motivation the next time I race. Okay, Nicholas. So you ran really fast and then what? Trip over dead Sharon? Is that what happened? Pledge Heather, we at DAM always show a little more sensitivity than that. No, I didn't trip over her. I just ran. All the sounds faded away. I ended up in the cornfields west of campus. What? Uh, but that's like... Yeah, a good half mile. I was moving. It was almost like I got so hyper-focused, I lost track of my surroundings. But I found this in the field. I was going to show it to the Dean. What is that? It looks like a man's hand with straw hanging out of it. Oh my god, oh my god! It's just a glove, you guys! Welcome back, Janie. 
Nicholas is just telling us about his run-in with a scarecrow. Why would a globe be in the cornfield, though? I mean, that's where he was created. It makes sense. But let me finish my story. Please. Please. So I found the glove, but then I realized I had overshot the entire campus in my panic. Well, not panic, but... We get it. Go on. It was also eerily quiet. I could only hear my own footsteps amplified. I knew I was by myself. So I jogged back towards the main quad of the dean's life. The light was on, then I heard screams, so I picked up the pace. And that was when I literally ran into the dean and Wilson Graves that were climbing out of the dean's office window. And then Donna and Roy showed up. Then there was like an explosion and a power outage and they all headed to the back house. <gasps> oh, and some reporter showed up. Some reporter named um, Muriel O'Leary? I think so. Why? <laughs> oh, never mind. Nicholas, you just ran through like all the exciting parts of your story without telling us anything. Why was the demon climbing out of the window? Where did you find Sharon? I hope you never try to go into the storytelling business. Jeez. You know, I didn't ask. It was also a jumble. But I offered to go check on Sharon at the gymnasium. Donna was so worried about her. Why? Because Mrs. Westwood never got to unlock the door like she promised. Someone beat her to it. Melissa Coffey, uh, where have you been this whole time? What's the matter, Captain Royce? What sort of a problem? Whoa, I found this. A scythe. Oh, oh God. Dean, Donna, Mrs. Westwood, I need to speak to you. You too, I suppose. Uh, uh, boys, why don't you go check the perimeter of the building for anything suspicious? Boys, set down that instrument. Please, and step over here. Well, what is it? This scythe was used to cut the power lines. I think we could guess that from the general lack of power. You don't understand. It was used to cut the power lines to this specific house only. Can you get to the point? That's how they did it last time. Now, this conversation is just for CSU faculty and employees, Miss O'Leary. No, Dean, she's right. That was exactly what happened the last time. They cut the power lines and then... All hell broke loose. Well, fine. Let's go back and tell the boys that they shouldn't stay in their house tonight. I mean, without power. Where should we put them? Let's get them in the east wing of the clock tower for this evening. Unless we can get the power back on by then? Not a chance. I think we should confine them and the DAM girls to the clock tower. And then you and I can watch over them, Donna. Do I know you? What's your name? Uh, me? I, I don't think so. I just moved here. I'm the faculty advisor at PAC. Hmm. It is odd. You your hair looks lighter in the dawn. I could swear I've seen it. Hey, Royce, don't be a tool. What'd you do with it? That is hardly the level of respect I should think you should show a policeman, Johnny. With what? Stop trying to spook us. What are you talking about? Where did you put the scythe? Right there, on that pillar. Oh, wow. It's gone! I was just feeling awful. I went to the bathroom, but then I just couldn't stop the nervous feeling, so I went and laid down. Laid down? Lay down where? On a couch down in the East Wing. I'm sorry to worry you guys. So what did I miss? <laughs> no one else died yet, right? <laughs> oh no. Someone did? Sharon. Oh no. Oh man, oh no, no, no. Now I feel so bad. She, she was stabbed. Well, cut while she was swimming. 
she was just floating there when I found her. All bloated and cute and- Please, skip the details. Look, you guys, I'm sorry. I want to be a DAM lady more than anything, but I'm going to lose my mind if we just have to sit in this creepy old building. Like, sitting ducks waiting to be slaughtered. Honey, can we please just take our stuff and go to the East Wing, please? <sighs> I know Donna won't like it. You know? It's technically daytime now anyways. So we have full run of the campus. It should be safe. Let's move our stuff. If she forces us to come back here tomorrow, we'll figure it out then. Oh, wow. Thank you. Girls, what are you doing? Oh my god, Isabel? Rachel? Oh, it can't be. Muriel, Melissa is Rachel's daughter. That was so eerie and... This place, those faces. Um, aren't you the reporter who's sometimes on the news? Yes, sorry to barge in. I know you're all stressed. I'm Muriel O'Leary. Muriel was a sister here with your mother and me, Melissa. Now, girls, we've had a little situation over at the pack house. Nicholas, what are you doing here? I sent you to fetch Sharon McConnell, not sneak up here and socialize. Where is she? She's, She's dead. dead. She's coming. Oh, oh, that's just what we need. A fire alarm. Girls, stay calm. We will just proceed down to the quad. Don't panic. Right, boys, so you're going to hunker down here. We are going to get this all figured out. Um, we are missing a brother. Well, a brother and a snitch. I'm sure Nicholas is fine. He's got a good head on his shoulders, that one. What about Wayne? Yes, good point. Where is Mr. Wayne Collins, anyway? We were up in the attic, showing him a picture of someone <laughs> when... Oh, Oh, that's odd. Man. I don't remember scheduling a fire drill. Now, everyone, stay calm and proceed with extreme ca- To the quad. Let's go. Moving out. <coughs> Why is it so smoky? I can't <coughs> breathe. <coughs> Look. <coughs> Looks like the administrative building's on fire. <coughs> oh my god. <coughs> Donna, there you are. <coughs> we we have to get these kids out of here. Th this whole place is ablaze. <coughs> oh my god. Oh, no. die. We could head for the cornfield and for someone will see the blaze and send help. It would put us out of harm's way, out of the fire at least. But not of other things. <coughs> What's that? <coughs> Never mind. Everyone, listen up. Head for the cornfield. Just head there. We'll meet in the clearing in the center. Move, move, move! What about Wayne? He may be stuck inside somewhere. <coughs> I know that scream anywhere. I know that's Wayne. There's no time to think about that. I'm sure he's fine. We've got to move now. <coughs> <laughs> uh, uh. Oh my god, why'd you leave me in here, in this attic? Man, I hate this place. This is torture. Why'd you have to tie me up anyway? You playing games? Whoa. Whoa. Wait, wait, wait. What's in your hand? What? Where'd you get that from? No! 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 What are you doing? Don't come near me! No! Uh, 